freeze it. Oh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello and welcome to Falcon TV. It's Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. I'm Alexis along with the rest of the FTV crew. Offering a glimmer of hope, the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation estimates that 73% of Americans are now immune to the Omicron variant. A number of some experts say means future surges could require far less disruption to society. The Institute estimates that the immunity percentage could reach 80% by mid-March. A notation of herd immunity that could be bring a pandemic to screeching halt has appeared amid variants waning immunity and the vaccine hesitancy among millions of Americans. But experts agree that the immunity numbers should prevent or shorten new illnesses in protected people and reduce in the amount of virus circulating overall, likely easing the brutal impact that seen in previous ways. This Thursday, the musical Memphis will open and the Multicultural Interest Club will present a celebration of black culture for the love of music celebrating the most influential music that has shaped our lives and world. This pre-show will take place right before Memphis on February 24th, 25th, and 26th. The girls lacrosse team will meet on Tuesday, the 22nd, right after school in room 223. See Coach Twigs with any questions. Hey guys, it's Miss Twigs here. Uh, I'm the head coach of girls lacrosse. My assistant coach is Mr. Friedel. Uh, this season, our interest meeting and returners meeting are going to happen together on February 22nd. That's a Tuesday um, after school directly uh, in my room, which is 223. Uh, if you're interested in joining, uh, you can send me an email at mtwigs at gerstid.net. Uh, you can come see me in room 223. You can find Mr. Fidel or I around at some point during the school day. Um, and you can also join our Google Classroom and or join the uh, Group Me app if you can find one of the captains, Trishana, um, or really any of the seniors at all who play lacrosse. The GAA is having another volleyball -a on March 3rd. In an effort to make businesses stronger, Belgium has improved new labor laws, which includes a four-day work week. Workers in Belgium will soon be able to choose a four-day work week without a loss of salary. The reform package will also give the workers the right to turn off work devices and ignore related messages after hours without fear of reprisal. Belgium's prime minister said that the global that the goal of the labor market reforms is to create a more dynamic and productive economy. In addition to three-day weekends, workers will also be able to request variable work schedules. Four-day working weeks were trialed in Iceland between 2015 and 2019 and since became a choice of 85% of countries' working population with a large percentage of Americans already wishing to not return to work and work from home, perhaps thinking soon come to America. Go for me today, right after school in room 109. Seeing Coach Brown or Moss with questions. That's all for today. So from everyone here at Falcon TV, have a great day.